Hey, hi. In this video, I will show you how we can create Azure Function app using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Action. Um, so as you see here in my screen, um, so I have my uh, complete environment ready now. Um, so to know more about how you can um, set up your environment like um, setting the GitHub account, um, um, GitHub repo, um, GitHub secret and, and GitHub actions, please do watch my previous videos where I have explained everything from the scratch. And also, um, please do subscribe my channel. That would uh, really encourage me a lot. Uh, with that, let's directly jump to our demo. So as you see here, I'm currently in my future branch. Future branch is nothing but my um, uh, my development branch where I will be doing my um, coding. Okay, so and also I have uh, one more branch uh, that is uh, main branch and the main branch I will denote it as a production branch through which I will be deploying to um, to the uh, to the uh, to the production or to my um, Azure accounts. Okay, so um, so he here this is my GitHub uh, repo. Yeah, and inside that I have a workflow folder. Uh, so that is nothing but um, GitHub action folder. And it, as the as the name says, um, uh, Terraform plan and the Terraform apply are the are the um, actions which I have created. So namely, uh, Terraform plan is meant for creating the um, creating a Terraform plans, and it, it is it is pointing on on future branch. Whereas uh, Terraform apply is again uh, again as the name suggests, like it is meant for uh, doing the apply, uh, Terraform apply task. And it is sitting on the. Uh, it will be invoked uh, on a future uh, on on my main branch. Okay, so that's a brief about those two workflow YAML files. Yeah. So after the YAML files, I have two more uh, Terraform files in under the root of my repo. So one is main dot Terraform file. So this is meant for um, uh, um, Azure RM provider purpose. And also it contains a definition of um, uh, my Terraform backend configurations. Okay. So which will store the which will maintain the um, uh, Terraform state file. Okay. Yeah, so that's a that's a main terraform file. So let's directly uh, go to our uh, core file, which contains the uh, the all the codings related to our function app creation. Okay, so let me quickly walk you through this code, and then we can go for the uh, demo. Okay, as you know that uh, to create a function app or to create any Azure services, we need to have a resource group, which where we will be. Uh, keeping our service or where we will be uh, creating our services right so uh, so this is the um, uh, terraform block which will be uh, which will be creating the resource group again the the keyword of uh, are the resource type of creating the resource group in azure is azure rm underscore resource underscore group then this is the variable inside the um, flower bracket block i'm giving the required parameters one is the name and the location okay so that uh, so this is this is the complete block which will create um, a resource group um, in the subscription yeah and the next, um, so as you know that uh, to create a function of, we should be having uh, a storage account where the function of will keep its um, its configurations data, right? Henceforth, we are creating a storage account and a storage container here. So, so let me quickly walk you through that block as well. So this is the block which will create a storage account, Azure storage account, yeah. And here, um, so this is the keyword for storage account that is Azure RM underscore storage underscore um, account or the the resource type for creating the um, um, storage accounts. So this is the variable which will store the storage account data. And inside this uh, flower bracket uh, block, uh, we are giving the required parameters that is the name, uh, resource group, uh, location, uh, account tier, and and the um, and the account replication type. Okay. So as you see here, I am referencing the name, resource group name, and the and the location from the above created um, uh, resource group itself. Okay. So so that's that's about the um, storage account. And and inside the storage account, we will be creating a container. Um, so the container name uh, again to create a container. So this is the block which is responsible for doing that. Again, the keyword for creating the storage account container is uh, is Azure RM underscore storage underscore container. So this is the keyword uh, from Terraform, or uh, this is the resource type from the Terraform for creating the Azure storage account uh, container. So this is the again variable which will store the data of that um, that container. Then inside this, we are providing the required um, required um, uh, parameters to create the container. That is the name of your container, the storage account where the containers to sit, okay, and the access type, okay. So access type is private, and as you see here, again I am referencing the um, the um, uh, the parameter storage account name parameter to above created uh, storage account, yeah. And um, so after the storage account is created, as you know that to monitor the um, um, function app. Uh, we should be having a um, app insight. Okay, so so this is the block which will create an app insight, and it, this app insight will be attached to a function app. So uh, so uh, this app center app insight is used for getting the insights of your app, right? App app right? That is function app, right? So so this is the block which will be responsible for doing that. 
and the keyword for that is again um, so azure rm underscore app application underscore insight right and uh, this is my variable inside this um, um, flower bucket block we are giving the required parameters to create the app insight one is um, uh, name so this is my name which is static again the location um, we am retrieving the location of uh, my story my resource group so uh, yeah and the, the resource group name I'm, I'm i'm referencing to my resource group name which i have created above and the application type that is um, which type of application it's a web app right so it's a web application application i mean a function app is nothing but a web app right so and again the tag right i'm adding a tag on the on the app inside so what for what purpose the app inside is, is been created so monitoring so and it, it is a monitoring purpose and for which of uh, monitoring so it's a function of monitoring right so kind of information i'm providing there and after that i'm creating the um uh, the uh, the um, app service plan so this is the block which is responsible for creating the app service plan so before you jump and create um function app you sh there should be an um, app service plan which will be um, attached to uh, your function app so henceforth we should be creating that app service plan first um, so this is the block which will do that and this is the um, the keyword for it or resource type for creating the app service plan uh, this is the variable name inside this uh, flower bracket block. We are giving the name of the app service plan Location and the resource group and the kind right uh, noted noted here uh, We are giving the kind and that is the function app, right? Yeah And the reserved. Okay, so this reserved is uh, is true. I'm giving okay, so let me make a note I'm I'm creating the function app um, uh, on the OS of Linux, okay. Henceforth, uh, we need to give these two uh, parameters. If you are not giving these two parameters, still you can you can create the app service plan, but the app service plan directly goes to the Windows type, okay. So in this demo, I am creating an uh, function app um, that is um, um, Python function app, and that function app will be running on an uh, Linux OS, okay. Henceforth, we are create, giving those parameters, okay. That is for your note, and after that. Uh, the what is the school of my app service plan that is the dynamic so the dynamic is nothing but um, a consumption based um, function app yeah and the size is y1 yeah so this is very basic whereas you are free to explore these options okay so i would recommend you to study the uh, microsoft documents and also terraform um, um, document from the enter um, terraform enterprise law site okay and after that uh, so this is the final block which will be responsible for creating the function app Okay, so this function app will consume all those resources which we have created above. That is the resource group, um, storage account, app service plan, right? So those and app insights. So all these four resources will be consumed uh, by this uh, function app, right? So so this is the block which is responsible for doing that, uh, doing the function app, uh, creating the function app. So this is the uh, block. Okay, let me select and show you. Yeah, so this, uh, sorry, this is, yeah, so this, uh, let me, uh, let me select it. So um here you go yep, let me select from the top um so uh here you go so this is the uh, block which is responsible for doing that um so the keyword again the keyword for function app is is, is as simple as it is that is azure rm underscore uh, function underscore app okay so it's it makes sense the name makes sense and the function uh, the variable so this is the variable which will be storing the data of my function app and inside this uh, flower bucket block we are giving the required parameters uh, of my uh, function app creation that is the name the location again i'm referencing to my resource group location right and the resource group uh, the uh, the resource group name is again referenced to our resource group and this is the app um, app service plan so this is my app service plan id as I said that we the, the above created four resources are being uh, consumed here or are referenced here to create the function app. One is the app service plan. So as you see here, it is being used here. Again, the storage account name being used here, which we have created just above. And uh, the, the, the storage account access key, right? So this is the access key will be referenced here. Um, so this is the one more parameter. So this is the HTTP only, okay? So what kind of trigger you want the function app is. So so we are creating the function app that is the um, uh, that is the uh, uh, https that is https function app only right and the version so version is what's the way, uh, what is the function of version that is um, uh, the three and again as i said in the above as well so we are creating a function app which will be running in the linux machine okay and the function app is meant for um, a python function app okay so henceforth the os are chosen as of uh, linux 
and inside this again i have one more um, um, object object type of um, um, parameter that is the app settings so inside this app settings i'm i'm giving the um, the i'm providing these app settings uh, inside it okay so so these settings will be used uh, for our purpose and also by the for the um, so these app settings configurations are will be used can be consumed for our automation purpose or it, it will be used by the function app itself okay so henceforth i'm just adding the app settings that is the website run from package equal to 1 then the um, then the worker function the the, the function worker runtime is python right as i say i'm creating the python um, uh, python uh, function app so so the worker runtime will be python here then the app insert so again as you as i said like the app insert which is i'm attaching to this web app uh, or, or the function app monitoring that is um, so that is been referenced here uh, by this um, um, the app insert instrumentation key so okay so this has been referenced here the again app insight uh, connection strings will be again uh, will be again referenced from the above created app insight only yeah and again one more we have one more parameter with the name uh, site um, underscore configuration so where the site configurations data will be uh, provided here that is the linux fx version so which is the python version you want so this is the python and what is the version of python that you want to be installed on the linux um, okay so that's what it is and the, do you want the ftps um, um, uh, settings uh, so this is i'm making it as a disabled okay uh, then i'm creating an uh, system managed identity so this is the identity i'm creating so that i can use this identity to authenticate my uh, function app okay the, for once this identity has been created created the function app can use that identity uh, to authenticate right so that's the reason i'm creating an uh, managed identity for my function app as well okay so that that completes the complete code walkthrough of our uh, function app creation so let me quickly jump to our um, demo how we can create the function app from the github action so as you see here so this is my um, github repo this is my github repo and um, so um, so this is my code so let me show you my code yeah so this is my code let it open so as you see here so currently um, the this is my main file which uh, which is contains the basic files but uh, i am yet to merge it okay once i merge it it will show the required um, uh, files right? it will also include um, so this file that is the azure function app data terraform file will come and sit here and it that will be uh, responsible for provisioning our um, uh, function app okay so as you see here so let me quickly walk you through the terraform um, plan if what what it says so the the terraform plan has already been invoked once i merged these changes okay this is currently this code is on my future branch and as i shown you in the in the main branch that does not contains the um, the terraform file which is responsible for creating the my function app okay once i merged uh, this uh, terraform plan ran on the uh, my future branch yeah and let's quickly walk you through the uh, what the terraform uh, um, uh, plan uh, uh, stays stays okay the terraform plan uh, stage says that it is creating the um, uh, as you see here so the logs is clearly explains what it going to be create one is it is creating the app service plan it's creating the app insight and it is creating the function app okay so uh, there should be a store a resource group and storage account as well similarly so this is the resource group and this is the storage account creation logs okay and let's directly jump to um so this is the container creation okay so it's directly says it's going to create a uh, six resources zero changes and zero rest drive okay so that's what we want and we are happy with the uh, terraform plan now we can directly jump and 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 start the um start the other actions that is um, terraform apply which is responsible for provisioning the azure function app right so so i pulled i have already created the pull request so let me merge this pull request to uh, my uh, main branch as you see here the uh, the pull request is been pointing to main branch now from my future branch so that that file will be merged to my main branch from there um, the actual um, um, actual function of creation starts in okay kicks in so i have already merged it so i just now merged it let's see if the action got kicked in uh, for provisioning the uh, function app so yeah so meantime let me show you so this is my uh, subscriptions where i am creating uh, the azure function app for this demo so currently there is no resource group here so uh, resource group will be created once this um, terraform apply action starts working okay starts kicked in so parallelly let me quickly walk you through the let me parallelly walk you uh, through the terraform apply logs okay so as i always recommend uh, please do uh, always try to um, um, um see the uh, terraform plan and the uh, terraform apply log so that you will understand that what actually the terraform is doing once you understand the if what actually the terraform does then you will you are you are easy to that would really that would really help you to uh, code right so yeah 
so that's the reason i always suggest you to just um, always have a glance at the terraform apply logs okay so as you see it's, it's currently um, uh, created the fun um, resource group yeah resource group creation is completed then uh, the survey app service plans okay that is the um, service plan got created successfully and it has created the storage account and the container is also got uh, successfully created inside the storage account yeah um, so uh, it's currently deploying the app insight okay so app insight is also got successfully created now it is deploying the function app yeah uh, so once the once the function app once every resource is deployed i will just directly show you uh, from the resource group if the everything got successfully created so that marks our completion of our uh, demo okay again i i always recommend you to um, glance these logs so that you will understand that how terraform works once you know that they how the terraform works um, so it will really help you to to do the infrastructure coding task okay so here you go it has successfully deployed the function app it says okay it says yeah and let's see the summary of the um, this um, this um, this terraform apply stage uh, so the the apply is complete and it has successfully created the six resources zero changes and zero destroyed okay so yeah so let's let's let me uh, refresh and show you if the resource group is created here you go the resource group which i have created via that file is got created here and that was sitting in the east west location and all our uh, resources are also sitting in the east west as you see here it has created the uh, six resources okay so six resources in the sense these four resources and the container inside the storage account and plus um, resource groups okay that comprises six resources which we have created by terraform so let me uh, quickly um, open the function up and i will show you uh, whether the function app is running or um so let's wait for yeah here you go it's ready okay and um so uh, so let let's see if the um so this is app service plan so let me uh, take you to the function app so this is the function app which i was telling so this function app is ready now it's running here you go uh, so this this marks the completion of our um, demo on how to create uh, azure function app using terraform and deployment via github actions with that note thanks for watching my videos and also please do subscribe my channel that would really really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot